G'day and thanks for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're checking out the demo for Spin Hero. And this is a roguelike auto battler um, with a bit of inventory management and uh, my understanding is it's basically like a, a pokies machine or a slot machine in that uh, you fill the machine with certain synergies of items and uh, basically try and spin the machine to progress. Being the demo, we only have one hero available to choose from, but we can unlock some different uh, items for him by the looks of it. The Blessed Knight, 65 health, 25 magic I assume. Comes with a sword, a staff, a ring, a buckler and some bread. Divine Grace, heal 10% of HP after each battle. If already at full health, gain three max HP instead. Okay, nice skill. Gamble's Curse, that must be the progression which is not available in the demo. And by progression, I mean like the, uh, you know, once you beat the game, you do it again harder and harder and harder with different modifiers. Anyway, let's jump in. Ratfolk Woods, stage one. Okay, we have our typical roguelike choose your own path screen here. You can start on the left. Uh, looks like there's a shop. A chest, this might be a boss. A mini boss, this might be a tough path, but we get a gold chest out of it. But if I go this way, I get a shop and two chests. So I might just take the lower path. All right, what is going on here? We have a slot machine. Very luck be a landlord look to it. We have a rat folk knight, 24 health, 5 attack, 3 defense, I guess. Am I, am I putting these in? No, that's what's in there already. That's what's already in there. I just need to spin. Get gold. Doesn't look like there's any limit to the amount that I can spin. Okay. Yep, very much luck be a landlord. I wasn't sure whether it would have to be like combos all the way across to, to make you move, but it looks like they just have to appear. Fair enough. These will contribute to your stats here and that's what determines your action. So it looks like there's um, melee, ranged, magic and shield. And we defeat the rat folk knight. Pick your award, an iron axe. Deals four damage plus one damage for each adjacent axe. Throwing knife deals two damage and applies two bleed. Up to five throwing knives can be combined. Combine a life shard with another life shard to give 15 max HP. That doesn't help me in combat, but that's potentially very good if I get two of these. Um, I'm going to get the throwing knife just because it's a different type of damage that I don't already have. What have we got here? Ratfolk Rogue. Looks like he... Uh, might apply bleed to me as well. It'd be nice if there were some tooltips for these things. Sort of going in blind here. Okay, not bad. Ah, got him. A mana stone restores five. A mana scroll restores three, and every three spins gives plus two max mana. Mana ring restores four mana, gives plus two damage to adjacent magic weapons. I guess I'll get the scroll. Again, first time playing, so I'm not sure what is a what's good to aim for, what's what should be avoided. But we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, he's got a, an angry face. I'm not sure if that's a, a debuff he applies to me or a buff he might apply to himself. He does nine damage, so we're going to take some damage here. Rage increases damage done by 10% for each stack. 
so he's going to slowly buff himself and do more damage every turn. Oh, that's interesting. Plus one damage for each enemy killed. Uh, is that uh, persistent or is that in a battle? I'm guessing the plus two means it's persistent. That's pretty cool. Yep, that just went up to three. Nice. Pick your award. An apprentice staff deals seven damage, consumes two mana. Ten damage every two spins. Twelve damage per arrow. Takes one arrow from each adjacent quiver. Okay, so it's a synergize, uh, a synergy, I guess. You need quivers to make this one pop off. I guess I'll get the staff. Because I've got a couple of things that are restoring my magic power, so I think that's okay. Just another knight here. So at the moment, it just feels like I'm basically just rolling everything every turn. Nice. Shinobi Kunai. Deals four damage, can be stored in Shinobi's belt. Okay. Adept Wand. Deal five damage and heals one HP. Or more bread. Go for the wand. Ratfolk range of 15 damage. Okay, I just realized as well the bread's use appears to be persistent as well. And that, that doesn't replenish between battles. So maybe I should have considered that other bread. What have we got here? Poison knife. Three armor, plus two armor for each space below. Two weakness and two frail. Spending a lot of magic. Uh, armor sounds good. But this will get less useful as my... Uh, my screen fills up with items. Look at this heavy fella. Have a look at him. Alright, what have we got? We can buy symbols. Eighty gold. I could buy artifacts if I had a lot more gold. Or services. Remove a symbol. Add a reroll. Restore thirty HP and mana. Thirty percent. Sorry. Rerolls all shop items. I think I'm going to grab the scroll. Keep that uh, regeneration up. I'll grab the axe as well, just to have a bit of extra damage up my sleeve. Um, I'm going to come down here because I want those chests. Another warrior, 15 damage. We'll get rage. Okay. How do I get such a good block then? Ah, oh, the cap. Gotcha. It looks like that um, they didn't have to be empty spaces below it, just the higher it is, the better it is. Okay, that's not too bad then. Okay, not bad. I'm nearly out of bread. A rusty axe deals 10 damage, loses 1 damage each attack. Another linen cap or a great sword deals 25 damage every 3 spins. Um, I don't mind getting another cap just to be more defense. I'm actually going to play the extra battle here. I could skip it, but I'll, I'll take it on. Ratfolk Rogue, 101 health, 11 damage and 2 bleed. I 
I figure it's worth doing these extra battles. It'll buff my sword and get me new drops as well, so. One more spin will do this guy. Red is gone. So that means I don't have a healing item at the moment, so I might want to look for one. Short sword, simple bow. Assassin's Shiv. Six damage and three bleed. Or should I re-roll? Ah, I'll take that. All right, let's see what's in these chests. Forty-one gold and an uncommon symbol. Shield, Venom Dagger, Shiv. I'm grabbing the shield. I like the idea of having uh, plenty of block. Ah, oh, no keys. Need a key to open the gold chest. Makes sense. When do we get keys from? Oh, he's an angry boy. A wear rat. 25 damage. Well, I think I'm glad I grabbed that shield. But he also does 3 bleed. And he has vampirism. Okay. He's poisoned. Oh no, he's going to cast poison. That's not what we want. You can remove symbols in combat, so I wonder if enemies can like curse you and fill this with junk that you need to get rid of. It's pretty interesting. Okay, I'm shielding well, but his uh, poison and bleed damage is uh, getting through to me a bit. Thankfully, he shouldn't last too much longer. One more spin should do it. <laughs> Shrunk him down. Okay, a reward, and these are rare. Restores 10 mana, adds 1 max mana. That's interesting. War Mage Helm, 3 armor, plus 3 armor for each space below, plus 5 damage to adjacent magic weapons. Holds 40 poison arrows. Righto, that's when you want the bow and you want them to pop up, pop up next to each other quite often. Uh, interesting. Plus 1 max mana sounds. Good for, uh, good for the future. There's a shop there. There are two chests here. One with a key. I probably won't have a key for that one, but I'll give it a try. What is this? A fish folk knight. 24 damage. I should block that easily. But he's going to shield as well. One thing I'm, I need to check as well is my man, magic, my, uh, uh, I'll start again, my maximum mana, which is going up thanks to this mana orb. I'm assuming it's just for the battle, but I'm not quite sure. Fire staff, deal six damage and apply six burn for three mana. I think I've got enough regen to make this work. No, my maximum stays up. So soon, this is going to balloon right out. That's awesome. A fish folk trapper. 21 damage and 2... I guess that's weak. Weakness? Nice. Nice. 
and the ring is slowly buffing these things as well, which is good. Weakness reduces damage by 2% for each stack. So that's not terrible. Unless you had a lot of it, I suppose. Okay, that's him done. Another fire staff. Deals 5 damage and heals 1 HP. That sounds pretty good. Now, I don't have a key, do I? So I might try my luck facing one of these things. A giant toad. He's an angry boy. 15 regen. 27 damage. So, it looks like if I keep my mana economy up, these wands should go on the way to keeping me healthy. And uh, hopefully I can just tank a lot of things with the... Uh, lots of shields going on. He's bleeding, he's burned. Deals one damage for each stack after spin loses one third of stacks every trigger. Loses one stack every trigger, ignores armor. Let's see. So if we get some poison happening as well, I can have them burned, bleeding, and poisoned most turns. She did some damage to me. And he's done. Broken Blade. Deals 60 damage, loses 10 damage each attack. Pretty short-sighted. Well, I did ask for poison. What have we got here? 47 gold and an uncommon. 8 damage every 2 spins, plus 4 damage for each weapon on cooldown. 10 gold at each spin. Uh, I don't reach a shop on this run, but maybe in the future that would, an extra 150 gold would be welcome. That'll destroy itself, so that'll clear itself out of my inventory in time anyway. Another knight, 29 damage, 15 block. So, yeah, I don't mind having things like this. Even, uh, you know, thinking back to games like Luckbeer Landlord, ones that do a job and then disappear in clear your inventory space are welcome. He'll learn the last 15 spins and then he's freed up that space again. Okay, this is nice. We've got some poison, bleed, and burn happening. Made short work of him. Alright, a wizard hat. Gives two armor and restores five mana, plus two armor for each base below. More poison, more burn. Go to the wizard hat. Ah, oh, I should have gone for the tougher enemy. A fish folk enchanter, 25 damage, 3. I'm not sure what that is, maybe frail, might reduce my block. It is frail, reduces armor gain by 2% for each stack. Not the end of the world. I'm liking this build so far. The ones are keeping me healthy. I've got plenty of uh, magic flowing. Lots of status effects. And generating a good bit of gold as well. Destroys itself after a spin, giving 50 gold. Another wizard hat. How many hats can one knight wear, I wonder? I 
my reroll. Plated boots, kunai, buckler, another reroll. Quiver, longsword, piggy bank. <laughs> sure. Let's crack this chest open. I think we're finally at the stage now where there's no empty spots, so every spin something is going to start missing out. Heavy crossbow, energy staff, spectral bow. I'll take the staff. 27 damage and 2 weak. We can deal with that. I need to start looking to improve my block pretty soon because these guys are getting close. All it's going to take is one turn when my shield is off screen and my block will just not be enough. So that was pretty close there. And now I'm breaking the old, you know, deck builder rule where less is more. You want less things in your inventory so your desired items are turning up more often. Bread. Tunic. 15 max HP. Tunic sounds cool. Gives me armor. Buffs adjacent weapons. That's pretty good. Now for the boss, Bruce, <laughs> buff shark, okay, 40 damage, 80 block, might be glad to have all these uh, status effects going, got the poison and bleed on him, and blocked his attack thankfully. And should do again. As long as I don't keep this shielding up, we should be okay. These status effects will slowly build up and that'll do the bulk of the damage while he's shielding that much. One of these piggy banks is nearly gone, which is good. Get that out of the way. is raging. 52 damage. I'm not going to be able to block all that. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's a bit dangerous. Damage is adding up. How do I use that ability? Oh, that's just an active one after each battle. Okay. So that's not going to help me in battle. Oh, that's not good. in a bit of trouble here. It was looking really good for about five seconds and uh, this guy just keeps buffing himself and demolishing my shields. I've only got 24 shields this turn. I think that's it. Game over, man. Bam. Killed by Bruce. Total enemies killed 14. Elites killed one. Lots of uh, cool stats there. Experience gained, 3,900. What does that mean for me? Do I unlock? Oh yeah, so your character levels up. Your hero levels up. Okay. And when he levels up a few times, he'll unlock some more buffs there, I suppose. Three more heroes to come there. And obviously you've got the curse down here, which might be uh, even more challenging, which is interesting. Hmm. Well, that was quite fun. I definitely will play this one again, but I think I'm going to leave it here for this video. just thought it was a 
an interesting game. I wanted to check it out. And um, yeah, I think pretty much you got the idea of what it's like just from that. It's very much like be a landlord in that uh, slot machine, poker machine sort of setup. And uh, inventory management is critical, really. Um, but I really like it. It's quite satisfying to play. It's fun. It's snappy. It looks good. It sounds good. Really enjoyed it. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description. You can uh, check out the demo now and add it to your wish list. The full game comes out, I think it's slated for quarter four, 2024. So uh, not far away now, really, is it? Um, so keep an eye on that one. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. It keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. I do like to check out lots of new and upcoming indie games just like this one. And I do double in VR games as well. So if that interests you, stick around for more. And if you have any game suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.